so we were discussing about the 11.17 11.17 point has been considered as a good anger point and there are there are many acupuncture scholars they have written on the very wonderful article on this point means 11.17 we can see the name anger it means that this point working on the anger management so if we put this point we can do the anger management very nicely so it looks like that this point is connected with the liver because as per the five element liver is the organ who is connected with anger heart is connected with the joy is spleen is connected with the anxiety lung is connected with the sadness and crying as well as depression and kidney is connected with the fear so as per this five element classification we know that liver and anger both are interconnected so if some person become angry again and again means liver is not working nicely there may be some problem in the liver on the other hand because of something if liver become weak so person will start becoming angry so 11.17 point working on the anger management it means this point also working on the liver and it's right but when we see the index finger we already discussed the meridian in the index finger is large in this time but now we are talking about the liver so because we are putting the needle in the large in this time finger but we are talking about the liver means is it possible that we put the needle in the large in this time and it will work on the liver so answer is yes as per the 10 balance method large intestine and liver are interconnected whatever you do with the large intestine it will affect the liver and vice versa so here we are doing stimulation in the index finger with the thought of liver so 11.17 point has been considered as a good anger point if we look at the palm in this palm if we draw the line so we know this is the line a center is the line c so this is the line c and this is the line d in the d line 
at the lower most joint lower phalanges on d line these are the two point at equal distance they are called 11.17 or burenger point these points are just on the border of bone so if we can feel the border of bone so these are the point 11.17 because we know the a line will be here this is the b line this is the c line this is the d line so this point found on the d line at the lower phalanges if you see in the other image we can see bones very clearly so this is the lower phalanges this is the lower part of the finger and we can see this is the adjacent to the bone so our 11.17 point found on adjacent to the bone if you see in my arm in my Think hand. So let's see the practical demonstration of eleven point one seven because these are very important point. So look at my palm. Now I am turning my palm like this. So this is my index finger. In this index finger, just. i am talking about my this lower phalanges so this point found on the lower phalanges in this phalanges and this is the d line on the side adjacent to the bone so when i want to put the point first i am pressing with the help of nails and making the mark of nail like this we can see the clear nail mark then after doing the nail mark why i am doing nail mark so that i can find out the border of bone and after that how can i put the point you can see this is a very good point this calm down over brain but right now we are using for the treatment of liver so we can insert one needle like that you can see this needle not on the side but on the border of bone so same one needle i will put again next to this so like this because we can put sujog needle here because i am inserting needle for myself so when we put the needle to others so we can put more confidently because here so we can see these are the two points so this is a practical demonstration this point is very good for the anger management and also for all the condition connected with the liver
what are the condition which is connected with the libo so some person having dry eyes so doctor advising to put the eye drop every 4 hours we have many patients the doctor advising them put the ear drop sorry i i drops every 4 hours so for them we can use this points number 2 tearing eyes this is just opposite action so some person having continuous tearing of the eyes sometimes they are going in the wind and because of the wind attack how bind are they means they are traveling in the bus train or they are traveling with a bike and air is continuous falling on the eyes and after that they are getting the attack of wind but it is not going it is still there for day 1 2 and they are feeling very uncomfortable in the eyes and eyes are tearing so for the tearing eyes also this point is very much effective third this point has been considered as a common cold point so this is a very famous point for common cold <clears throat> so we are using this point if someone is having common cold and any problem which is connected with the nose fourth thing sweating in the palm <clears throat> sweating in the palm so we have seen many person they are getting sweating in the palm when they are stressful they get more sweat so this point is very effective for them so if they are getting excessive sweating or sweating in the palm this point is very good also dry scaly skin of hands we can use this point because this point is connected with the liver so we are using using it for irritability for anger this condition we are using this point i already told you this point is very good for common cold if someone is having some nasal discharge so we can use this point so this is the point very good for the nasal discharge so in this condition if someone is having excessive liver fire and that liver fire also create the heat in the eye so give the problem of the eye brain so give anger so we can rectify these all problem with this point so this point is very good for the nasal discharge this point is very good for the common cold so we can tell many thing like rhinitis sinusitis this point is working very nicely when we compare this point with the traditional medicine traditional acupuncture so in the traditional acupuncture sweating from the palm second dry eyes third irritability anger these all things connected with the yin deficiency it it's meaning they are having poor yin so they are getting sweating from the palm as well as they are getting irritability anger dry eyes so we can compare with the yin deficiency it means 11.17 is improving the yin it means it improving the cooling effect in the body 
it increasing the relaxation effect in the body so i have seen after applying this patient, this point once i applied this point to one lady after 10 minute she was crying a lot just tear was coming out coming out continuous 30 minute i asked what happened so she told i don't know but i this tear are coming out out of something is coming out from the heart the tear was coming out because some something who is stuck in the heart some emotional is stuck was flowing out with this 11.17 point and after 30 minute of treatment she become very much all right and the effect remained for longer time because that day because of this point something happened at very deeper level on the emotional aspect so this 11.17 is very good for these all things so i was telling you yin deficiency when some person is doing over work excessive work but taking very lesser sleep lesser relaxation then suffer with the yin deficiency even you want to take the good rest but in the night you are unable to sleep so because of that reason you are not getting full sleep but in the day you have to work so when you are working 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 but either you are not taking the proper sleep or it is not coming automatically in that condition you will suffer with the yin deficiency so your body will go get more sweating more sweating from the palm irritability so in these all condition we can treat 11.17 so 11.17 is very good for dermatitis means skin disorder dermatitis it means it is very effective for the skin disorder so now you if you ask me what is the main action of 11.17 so i will tell you number one anger liver eyes number two common cold or rhinitis or sinusitis or nasal block and number three skin which is dry especially in the hands so these are the main indication of 11.17 or good anger point i am applying this point for all the person if they are having some emo emotional stuck this point working very nicely as per my own experience 11.17 point working on the anger but this is also working if someone is having feeling of insecurity or fear so because of that he is suffering with lots of anxiety because some one one day one lady came for the treatment she was having some insecurity with her boyfriend that will marry or not or some split sometime going on so when i applied this point she become very light so this point working on the fear on the insecurity level this point is working directly on the brain and relaxing the brain doing something with the brain so this is the completion of this point 11.17 this point when we do treat this point this point reduce the liver fire how it reduce the liver fire because this is the fire or we can tell this is the liver and this is the liver fire in our body we are also having coolness but because of something 
when liver heat is the same but this coolness become low this condition call yin deficiency so comparatively liver heat is high so it become liver fire so when we are doing the treatment on 11.17 we are again increasing this coolness so because we are increasing the coolness in the body so it is controlling the liver fire so it means in our body we have one heater also we we have one air condition but now your air condition is working but need service it is working with less efficiency so suppose 30% part is not working it is cooling but not like earlier so we go and do the service we do the service of air condition then again it is start working so we are doing same way when we are putting 11.17 point so it is servicing your air condition of the body which is cooling down your brain your heart your emotions your anger irritability and these all also sweating will go down so sweating is the sign of yin deficiency means sweating is a sign of your body in the heat mode and having more heat so that's why body is creating the sweat for the purpose of cooling down so when we treat the 11.17 with 11.07 so 11.07 is very effective which is called for rapid horses which is very good for the skin disorders so when we treat these two point together this become very great protocol for all the skin diseases especially when these things happen with the palm or hands so let's proceed now <clears throat> so look at the palm in the palm we are having multiple lines so let's see here now we can see this is the upper phalanges this is the middle phalanges and this is the lower phalanges so now we are talking about this lower phalanges only so let's forget this middle and upper phalanges for a while so when we are talking about this lower phalanges this is near about this much area so this is the center point just center point of this lower phalanges the number of this point is 11.05 which is the best point for heart as per the master do all the point who are treating the heart they are also treating the knee as per the master do if you want to treat the knee needle the heart point so all the point in the master do acupuncture if we tell this point is good for heart so this is understood that this point also will be good for knee the difference will be this the 
deft or niddling will be different so for the heart maybe little depth will be some on the some other level and for the knee we have to insert the needle little more or lesser so we will see that thing but right now what i want to tell you all the point which is good for heart on the different depth they will also good will be good for the knee so this 11.1 Zero five point is very good for the heart. So, when we talk about the heart, what is the problem? Patient suffering and coming to us and telling about the heart problem. So, one very common problem is which most of the patient are suffering that is palpitation. That is the problem. Many patients are suffering with palpitation. The meaning of palpitation is there is a excessive heart beat. Normally, heart is beating seventy-two per minute or near about. But when this heart beat become more than hundred or near about hundred, maybe ninety-five, maybe one hundred five, then we are telling it palpitation. sometimes it become too high even patient can feel the beating of heart without any effort so this is the palpitation so this is the best point for heart and palpitation because of the heart problem if someone is having breathing disorder which called dyspnea so dyspnea means breathing this means discomfort so you having discomfort in the breathing dyspnea so like he is having some problem while breathing so if some patient suffering with a dyspnea because when we talk about the chest cavity in the chest cavity we have lung we have heart normally when we are treating the heart we are also doing some treatment to the lung and also when we are treating the lung we are also doing the treatment of the heart heart and lung both are supporting each other and dyspnea means breathing difficulty may happen with both the patients either they are having lung problem or they are having heart problem so this patient having dyspnea and palpitation now because heart is connected and supplying Led to the brain. So this patient is also having some dizziness feeling. Now, because we are also considering, if this point can treat these all things, so it can also treat the knee pain. Because all the point who are working on the heart, they are also working. for the knee pain the main indication is palpitation <coughs> so this is the point the number of this point is 11.05 during my one of one camp few years back four years back during my one medical camp one lady was just roaming there and she saw that i am sitting and consulting the patient so for a while when i got free she came and asked me can you do something for my breathing problem so i inserted three points number one here so i inserted sujog needle here and very little insertion near about two fan two fan also i needles here on the same level here so these two point are just in the middle the number of this point is 11.01 and the number of this point is 11.05 and i needle third point here this is 11.02 so just i needle three point 
point number one, eleven point zero one. Point number two. So if we divide this lower phalanges in two parts, if we divide this lower phalanges just from the middle, so we are having one point here. That is eleven point zero one, and one point in the center. That is eleven point zero five. Then one more point I inserted. If we see between the eleven point zero one and this interphalangeal joint, if we take one more point here, that is eleven point zero two. So I inserted these three points. And C took it very lightly. Oh, okay, no problem. Put it. So I told, okay, you can do one thing: remove this point after one hour. So next day, because she was staying there only nearby. So next day she came. Oh, doctor, can you put that point again? I felt so nice, and I am so surprised that this thing worked so nicely because in the night. i did not felt dyspnea means breathing difficulty and also when i am getting up in the morning every morning i have dyspnea feeling the breathing difficulty for at least one hour but today i forgot that i have this problem because of these point so we know this is the finger of large intestine and large intestine is the couple of lung so when we are doing something in the large intestine finger it is also working on the lung so here when we are putting these three points so i will tell you again this is the lower phalanges in the lower phalanges is center point and at the level of this point this is one more point these two point are very excellent for the heart this is 11.01 and this is 11.05 these two point are very good for heart for dyspnea for palpitation For all the condition which is connected to the heart, because they are good for heart, so they are also good for knee. Second, if we divide this phalanges in just from the middle, and we have two point here, we already discussed. Now, if we choose one more point between this area, so this is the point that is eleven point zero two. that point is good for lung so by using three point means one point here one point here and one point here so these point two point working on the heart and one point working on the lung so with the lung point we are working in all condition of like dyspnea because of the lung with, with the help of heart point we have worked with this dyspnea because of the heart so because of these three point we have done a great thing in the chest cavity so two point for the heart and one point for the lung so this is the 11.01 this is 11.02 and this point is 11.05 so now when you talk about the line we already know in the finger we have lines so this line is a line which is on the side the this line is c line which is in the center this line on the side that is e line now one line we have between a and c that is v line this is a v line and one line we have between c and e that is a d line so in the sequence we can draw all the four lines Means A, B, C, D, and this is the E line. So if we draw only B line, this is the B line. This just adjusts into the bone. So we have our eleven point zero one and eleven point zero two points on the B line. and if we go in the c line 
then we have in the center we have 11.05 let's see in the other image if we look in this image so because we we know the palmar surface or hand i am showing you bones because our point is just adjacent to the bone in this figure if we see the a line then a line will be near about here this will be the a line then if we see the b line b line adjacent to the bone this is the b line then if we talk about the c line in the center so this is the c line which is in the center then we are talking about the d line d line again adjacent to the bone then finally we are talking about the e line e line will be on the side so in this way when we are searching the point we are searching the point in the b line so this is the b line so first point this is the lower phalanges so first point will be just in the center that is the 11.01 point it is very good for heart so it is good for knee second point will be just in between these two location that is the 11.02 that is the very good point for the lung and third point which i discussed with you will be in the center at the level of 11.01 that is the 11.05 that is good for heart in palpitation so finally we got three points here so finally we got three point one point is just in the center that is good for palpitation one point just adjacent to the bone one point in between here so the distance if we divide this lower phalanges with half and half so this is the half and again we will divide this upper part in half so this point at this level i hope you have understood so these all the point on the b line and in the c line so these two point they are having on the b line and this point is the c line <clears throat> so let's discuss here so we can see in this image this is the lower phalanges this is the center point or 11.05 which is very good for the palpitation if we want to know the location of this point so this point is just in the middle part just middle part so this is the location of this point just in the middle if we divide this lower phalange into two part and at this level only we have the one more point here so 11.01 11.05 and if we measure this distance from here to here in between here this is 11.02 so 11.01 and 11.05 these two point good for heart and 11.02 this good good point lung so the question comes how much needle how much needle we should insert here then answer is this very little very little so if we talk about the 11.01 0.05 
point this one so now i am talking about only 11.01 this point is good for heart this point is good for knee pain and also this point is very good for for few more problem which i will discuss you shortly and when we talk about the, the second point 11.02 this point is very good for the lung dyspnea and also few more problem so i hope you have understood this thing so now if we go in the second phalanges here this is the second phalanges we are still on the b line we are just talking about the b line so in the second phalanges now we are discussing some points so in the b line at the equal distance we have two point this is 11.03 and 11.04 so this point is in the equal distance here so this is the beautiful thing here so we got this is the middle phalanges so one point here second point here third point here and fourth point here 11.01 11.02 11.03 11.04 if we insert the needle in these all the four point so these four point unit are very good for tooth pain and hernia then question comes what is the connection of lower intestine with tooth is there any connection of lower intestine and tooth is there any connection of the lower intestine with hernia so answer is this we know lower intestine and stomach both belong to the same family yang ming if we do something in the large intestine it is affecting the stomach so putting the point here these four point are treating the hernia as well as tooth pain because if we see the root of the stomach so we can see very clearly that stomach root affecting the tooth so look at this location if we see here small stomach 3 stomach 4 these points are crossing the tooth and stomach marrow taking the turn and it is crossing from the joint tooth going till the stomach 8 then it is coming back and going in the neck region via face so stomach meridian supplying the jaw as well as tooth so that's why whenever anyone is suffering with a tooth ache we are focusing on the stomach meridian so here if we want to treat the stomach meridian so we have to treat the large intestine because stomach and large intestine both are belong to the same family as well as we see the root of stomach meridian it is cross crossing the front part of the body then it is going down and it is going through the inguinal region and hernia happen in the inguinal region so we can see the location of stomach 30 these point just in the inguinal near the inguinal region and affecting the inguinal region so when we rectify the problem of the stomach this is working on the hernia so in this way 
these four point unit are very effective for the hernia pain not only hernia pain hernia but sometimes hernia become a surgical disease so sometimes we can treat it i have treated few patients of hernia successfully but not all because hernia is a surgical case many times so in this way we have discussed 11.01 11.02 11.03 11.04 these four point 11.01 and 2 these point are very good for i told you they these point working on the stomach so whenever anyone is suffering with a gas acidity indigestion we are making very wonderful protocol of the four points a very wonderful protocol for the four points for the treatment of any gas acidity indigestion is 11.01 11.02 stomach 36 and stomach 43 if you insert these all the four point in the left side so this become very wonderful protocol for the gas acidity indigestion bloating feeling anything happen in the intestine so first point we will search we will search the middle part of this phalanges so this is the middle central division here we have 11.01 then we will search the 11.02 so two point here then we will go in the feet because we have stomach 36 below the knee so in this image we can see if you go down from the knee we can see the location of stomach 36 from the stomach 35 which is in the depression of knee if we bend our knee we can see clear depression in the knee so from the depression from the outer depression lateral depression if we go four finger down or three chun down that is the location of stomach 36 this point is very effective for treating the gas acidity indigestion so 11.01 11.02 stomach 36 and stomach 43 which in the feet between second third metatarsal bone at the union of second third metatarsal bone this point four point i have apply for many many patient many patient came with the problem of diarrhea some patient came with the problem of gas bloating and i have seen the instant results with just, just four point these four point combination treatment has been mentioned by the master too so 11.01 and 11.02 points are very much effective and we can rectify multiple problem with the help of these two two point which in the palm so 11.01 11.02 stomach 36 stomach 43 this is best treatment for gas bloating acidity indigestion we have to put these all point in the left side so next if we want to make this protocol more powerful then we are adding two more point so we are adding spleen 4 and pericardium 6 spleen 4 and pericardium 6 both are point of the extra ordinary vessels extra ordinary vessel meridian so when we want to make very wonderful protocol so we are applying spleen 4 and pericardium 6 point so spleen 4 we are applying for the male in the right side and for the female sorry we are applying this protocol for the male in the left side and for the female 
on the right side. And pericardium 6, we are putting on the opposite side. So like for the male, we have put on the left side, so pericardium 6 will come on the right side. For the female, we have put spleen 4 on the right side, then pericardium 6 will come on the left side. So this is the EOV protocol and they have very specific concept behind that. So for the male, we are putting dominant point on the left side. For the female, we are putting dominant point on the right side. So that's why we are putting the spleen 4, which is dominant point for the male on the left side, for the female on the right side. So if we do the treatment, like we want to treat the male, so spleen 4 left, pericardium 6 right, 11.01, 11.02, stomach 36, stomach 43. These four points on the left side, for male, female both. I have seen all the time very wonderful results. And for the female, we can apply spleen 4 on the right side, pericardium 6 on the left side, 11.01, 11.02, stomach 36, stomach 43, all the four points on the left side. So we can make very good circuit. I have treated multiple diarrhea patients with this point protocol, they got immediate results. If some patient coming with a complaint of diarrhea, gas, acid, indigestion, so we can make them normal very fast with this point protocol. If we do one more thing for the diarrhea patient, this point become more powerful. What is that thing? Moxa treatment on the navel. Moxa treatment on navel. So if we do the Moxa treatment over the navel and apply this point protocol, 100% we will control the diarrhea. Because this is my own experience. I've tried to many patients. So finally, the 11.01 point is good for heart good for knee, good for hernia, and good for tooth hack. 11.02 point, good for lung, also hernia, and tooth hack. 11.03, 11.04, both a point good for tooth hack and hernia. And 11.05 point good for palpitation and all the heart condition. So in this way, we can do multiple treatment with the help of these points. I think you have understood this concept. Now, if some patient coming to you with a complaint of swelling in the testes or pain in the testes, so we know testes is a male reproductive part. Sometime they are getting the problem in the testes. We can see this is the male reproductive part here. Sometimes there are very severe pain here in this area, in testicular area, the testes. Why this pain happened? This is connected with the small intestine. If there is some problem in the small intestine, So this pain may refer with the testes. So how to rectify the problem of this patient? So sometimes it will be only painful. 
sometime testes become swollen swelling will be there so in this condition when we want to treat the testes swelling we will apply all the four point so first treatment will be applying all the four point it is the lower joint so our first point in the just center 11.01 then 11.02 so this is the 11.01 11.02 this is the 11.03 and down is 11.04 so we will apply all the four needle on the four point two fan insertion is enough the meaning of two fan means very little insertion because one chun is equal to 10 fan so first we will apply four needle at this four point and second we will do one more treatment here what is the treatment i will tell you now so in the leg region if we see the leg region here we can see this is the bone and we can see the border bone here so this is the border bone if we divide this leg in two part so forget the upper part just remember the lower part now so just now i am drawing lower part only so we have to do something in this part only and this is the bone the name of this bone is tibia which is going till the upper part and on the border of tibia bone we are having spleen meridian so let's see here spleen meridian for clear impression so look at the leg we can see adjacent to the tibia bone we are having spleen meridian so here we have to focus on the spleen meridian and i told you forget the upper part just remember the lower part so just remember the lower part we can see spleen 7 area or we can see in this image adjacent to the bone so we are going back in the previous image now in this image we can see we are just focusing on the lower part adjacent to the bone if we do the blood dating from this area from anywhere doing the blood dating where have we find some blood vessels prick the blood vessels take out some drop of blood we can take out 5 drops 10 drops 20 drops 20 ml no problem so 20 drops to 20 ml blood can be taken out so we do this thing and you will see the very wonderful results in the swelling of testes otherwise this is a very challenging disease but in the master doing this is a very wonderful thing that just by doing the blood dating you can enhance the effect more powerfully so like those who are not confident for doing the blood dating they can take the comb and scrape the comb so combing or if you collect the guasha there is a one guasha instrument and we do the scraping with the help of guasha just doing the scraping scraping in that lower part so that also can do the effect on this part so with the help of guasha with the help of scraping but the most effective is blood dating 
and 11.01234, all the four points. We can do very good treatment. One more thing, 11.01234 and four, all the four points are more effective on the left side. So that's why I'm telling again and again, put the point on the left side, left side, left side. So you can try this treatment. Generally, whenever we are doing the bloodletting, we are doing the bloodletting on the same side where the problem is there. So if someone is having the testicular swelling more on the left side, do the bloodletting on the same side, means left side. So wherever we have problem, we always do the blood bleeding on the same side. This is the thing we should remember. So with the help of blood bleeding, we can do very good treatment here. So there may be more indication, but these are the few more indications. Now, most of the time, we are using these two points because we cannot remember all the indication. But most of the time, we are using this point for Gas has been indigestion. Like I told you, 11.01, 11.02, stomach 36 and stomach 43. We are using this protocol for gas acid indigestion. Second, 11.01 and 11.05 for the heart and 11.02 for the lung. And 11.05 point with center in the palm is very good for the palpitation in the heart. So in this way, this is the completion of this point protocol. Do you have any doubts? So please ask me. Yeah, we can, yeah, we can tell hydrocele. We can tell hydrocele. But the thing is this, sometimes it's not hydrocele. Sometimes it is the only swelling, temporary swelling. So as per the TCM also, we see if there is a, a small intestine, a stagnation, if there is energy, is not flowing properly in the small intestine, it creates pain in the testes. It also creates some sound in the small intestine, good, 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 and pain in the testes. So if anyone is suffering with the pain in the testes, and sometimes this pain is starting from the testes and going till the back region and also patient having back pain. So pain is starting from the testes and going to the back region. So when testes is involved, always think about the small intestine. Because we know the small intestine and urinary bladder, both are from the same family, Thai Yang. So when something wrong with the small intestine, it affects the urinary bladder. And just that below the urinary bladder part, that is testes. So testes is connect, 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 connected with the small intestine in this way. We can also, for hydrocele also, we do the same treatment. So the reason why depth play important role, which we are going to discuss in the 10 balance method, because in the 10, Mashatung and 10, both has given three things, three criteria to select some point. The criteria number third, is tissue correspondence. It's so that how much depth should be there for treating the particular thing. So which we are going to discuss in the 10 balance method. What is the importance of depth when we insert the needle? What is that clockwise and anti-clockwise? 11.03 and 11.04. So 11.03 in the upper side and four in the lower side. So enough for today, because there are many person who requested, they want to, they are sleeping early. So we started little early and we closing early. So thank you so much. Now we'll see you tomorrow. We'll try to do sharply at 8.30. In the no direction. In the Masha Dunga there is no tonification. 
no sedation, no manipulation, just inserting the needle. Okay, good night. Acupressure also doing good work. Yes, we are sometimes when we know this point is perfect, we are doing the acupressure. I told you, one person suffering with the anger, I told him, please do acupressure here. Next week, he told me he's feeling much better in the anger. Just by doing acupressure, he did himself. I think in the finger, you can apply the seeds. But when we go in the lower arm, when we go in the upper arm, then either you do the acupressure or you do the needling. Seed will not be that much effective because in the arm, in the shoulder region, in the thigh, seed will not work. See, moxa we can do as per our intellect because in the master tongue, master tongue did not mention about the moxa. Master tongue mentioned only needling and blood lating. That's it. The acupressure ring is working generally. It is stimulating all the points. But here we have to work specifically. Because in the index finger, they are having multiple points. So if you want to work very specifically, then target and prick a specific point. See, if you put the seeds on the 11 point 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4, and tell the patient, keep on pressing, then definitely it is going to work. Like put the methy seeds and tell the patient, press it. Definitely it, is, it will work. 